Hey Edgars and Funneltopia here and in this video I want to quickly show you how to set up a order bump in Funneltopia and deliver the product uh, as an email. There's several ways to do it. You can do it like as a the digital product as an email or as a uh, as a course, right? So there's uh, we're going to do the email version now and it's going to be a digital PDF file and it's going to look something like this. The main offer on the page is Corgi related training. So the order bump or the bump offer will be a Corgi cookbook. And yeah, as I mentioned, it's going to be via email. So what we need to do is obviously you need to have the, the digital product ready beforehand, right? And also we're going to be setting up a, a product. We're going to be uh, uh, setting up the automation. We're going to be connecting it to the actual funnel, which obviously needs to be done already. And then there's some other stuff, uh, copywriting related stuff like uh, what copy to write, on the actual the order bump element on the uh, on the checkout form and also what should the email have what kind of language stuff like that so i'm going to make it really simple more functional but just so you can see how things connect together right so the first thing you want to do is uh, you want to go to payments products and then products and we're going to create a new product that's going to be the 17 dollars book that's going to be the order bump so it's going to be the corgi cookbook all right we can do a description if you want uh, let's upload a file uh, over here I have it, but you can just upload it from your computer or if you have already, it's over here. So I'm just going to upload the the mock-up and it's just like a basic, I don't remember. It's like a free mock-up creator online. Maybe it was Canva, I don't remember. Product collection, this is not important. This is more e-commerce. Additional options, nothing that important. One time, that's going to be 17. And additional options... Uh, this we would check if that would be a course that's going to be a different training but for now let's just keep it as is and let's save it so now that we have it saved we have it created we can go back and now we want to connect it to the to the actual funnel and kind of let it know that this is the product that we're going to be selling uh, so we want to go to sites funnels and then we want to find the funnel that's going to contain this order bump so it's over here and then we want to go here to products Click on here. You can see there's one product here already. That's the that's the actual main offer on the on the sales page. So we want to click on add product and there's a vital element that we're, we can't skip. So let's do Corgi cookbook price. Yeah, there's only one, the one that we just created. So just the only one to pick from. Uh, yeah, can just keep that as is. And here we want to check bump product. Otherwise it's not going to work the way we intend it to work. So yeah, let's save it. And now let's go in the page and let's go set it up there. So I'm going to click on overview. Let's click on edit. And that's going to take us to the, to the page editor. Okay. Here's the sales page. Obviously you can see it's not a full ready sales page. It's just, I set it up in a way that just, just so we have the form ready so we can connect. It's like more of a functional presentation, all the copywriting, all that stuff. That's, that's a whole different training. So in this case, the, the checkout form, the order form, it's not, on the page itself it's not like embedded in the page it's actually under a button so if you click on it just to kind of show you again if in case you didn't see the previous video like when you click on the button and here on the right side you can say link to it you can see that it's linked to open pop-up right and the way to you can edit the pop-up is over here pop-up settings and that brings up the pop-up with the, with the checkout form right so you want to click on the form element somewhere and it gives you more stuff here on the side. So what you want to do is you want to go to advanced. And these, this is all uh, about all the, all the fields over here. You can do a lot of edits, a lot of good stuff here. But we want to find order bump options. We want to turn it on. And then we want to add a product, right? So let's select, select a product, Corgi cookbook. And here it is all the copy stuff. So, so I have it actually noted down just so I don't have to spend time thinking about it on camera uh let's do so the headline will be actually what what it is what's the product just to get their attention immediately just to be upfront. this is that you want it you don't want it because it's they're kind of passing by and it's just like a quick check mark um uh, like in the store during checkout you know the conveyor belt and everything the cashier you like gum and, and candy and all that stuff it's like a quick decision right three second decision i want it i don't want it so this is kind of similar but obviously it has to be a useful product that ties in together with the main offer uh, but yeah, the headline will be 156 tasty and the OTO headline. So this o OTO headline means on time offer headline. Um, here, what I was going for is this is like a heavily discounted and this is the, 
add in urgency. Otherwise, what's what's the reason for them to buy? It's cheap. It's going to be this cheap only now. And it's, you know, this is how it's it's useful because it ties in together with the main product, uh, which in this case is Corgi related training. So you have to, yeah, you have to make it short and sweet. Let's do this. Let's copy it in. It's going to be something like this. So what I want to usually do, I want to outline what's in it really short and sweet uh, for only, let's do that for only $17. Mention how big of a discount it is compared to the regular and also, yeah, what's in it. Uh, you get it instantly. Basically, yeah, like I mentioned before, uh, why now? And what's the reason? So you want to emphasize that. This is oftentimes the big sell, besides obviously it being a relevant offer, is the, the fact that you will never get it this, free, uh, this cheaply again for this good of a price. So that's kind of a, that's a big selling point usually for, for the order bump, but you want to make sure that you mention what's in there, that it's a book. This is what's in that book or, you know, whatever your product is. And as the last sentence, I usually like to do like the, just to reemphasize what they need to do instead of like, Hey, do you want it? But actually tell them what to do if they want it, you know, tick the box if you want to get the book. Otherwise there might be some confusion. Some people are just not that familiar with, with order bumps. For other people, it's simple. They're like, it just makes sense. But for others, they've never seen one or they've never really paid attention to things like that. So you want to kind of reemphasize, hey, you need to check this box if you want it. Otherwise, you're not getting it. So yeah, something like this image URL. Obviously, you can upload the book cover over here and save. Here we go. Once it's saved. So this is obviously this is optional, the book cover, but it's just kind of nice. So maybe you can also add, you know, 156 tasty. I would do like new book or something like that, right? Just to make more, just to, so they know what they're getting. Is it a course? Is it a pamphlet? You know, whatever it is. So here I emphasize the price, what's in it, emphasize the price again and how to get it. Uh, there's also an option here. It lets, I just let you know that it's an option, but I don't recommend it. Uh, over here, if you go back to the product setup, the option here, enable by default. This, if if it's on, then it's kind of turned on by default. You might trick some people into getting it. And then it's just, I wouldn't recommend it. So always keep this off, right? Just so it's, they, they'd have to make that decision. Otherwise there might be some, uh, some confusion as to whether or why it was added without my permission, right? So just so you know that it's a thing. So let's click update, let's click publish. And now I guess we can go and preview the page. Let's go do that. Let's click on the pop-up and over here, once they check it in right now, it's just a $97 product. Once they check it in, yeah, over here, that's a different thing over here, $97 product. Once they check it in, this thing gets added as well, right? So it's 114 instead of 97. So this is pretty simple. We'll do the test purchase in a bit, but now what we want to do is we want to set up the automation. So it actually gets delivered. So let's go back to the workflows. So this has been published. Let's go back. So that's, yeah, that's a live page. So now we go to workflows. Let's set up the automation and that's going to be an email. It's going to contain the link. So let's create a new workflow. Let's just start from scratch. Let's do a quirky cook book email delivery. So uh, always make sure to name your workflows. That kind of goes without saying, but sometimes it's easy to miss. I miss them every once in a while as well. And then later down the line, you kind of you need to find it again, make some edits or whatever. And it's just, you can't find it because it has a weird name. Uh, so yeah, two components. Uh, we want to add a trigger, what triggers this action. And then obviously the action is sending the email. So the trigger will be something like payment received. You can just look it up or scroll down until you find it. And there's going to be several filters. Source is so what is the source of this thing? Source is funnel. In this case, it can be a website, right? If it's on a website, but in this case, it's a funnel Add another filter global product is Corgi cookbook. There we go. Part of this funnel, this is the product, right? And the product is connected already. So let's save the trigger and what will be the action? Send email, send email. An email will be, in this case, really simple. You can make it fancy. You can do all kinds of things. Go follow me here. Go join this Facebook group, all that stuff. But in this case, it's just about delivering the, the digital uh, file from, from a Google Drive. Obviously, put in your name. 
papers from email. Here's your Corgi cookbook. I tested it out already. That's why it autofills. Templates, you can use a template or you can just write it in. I just have it here. Let's go do it here. Hey, contact first name. These things, these things autofill, obviously, as you can see. And over here, those are custom values. You can find them here. So this will autofill, obviously, with the name of this person. Uh, also, you can do thank you so much for purchasing. And then you can do this as a custom value as well. Uh, and then autofills the, the product name, right? So just in case, just so you know, there's plenty of things you can do. And so what we want to do here, we want to hyperlink this part to the digital product. So we have it here. What we need to do is want to click share. And obviously it needs to be set up to, this is on my Google Drive, it needs to be set up with anyone with the link can view. So they can view it, but they can't do anything with it besides downloading basically. So yeah, make sure that this is selected, right? And then let's copy the link. Let's go back. Let's just select this part and then click the link icon. Let's put it in here. Uh, I would do, let's do new window. When in doubt, do a new window, not going to hurt. Sometimes it's better than just overriding whatever is happening on the screen at that moment. But let's click save. Uh, let's save action and let's go test it out. Or I guess there's a couple more things you want to publish it for it to work. And then you want to go to settings. And usually I like to have this on for whatever uh, sign up forms, product purchases, whatever, in case you test it several times. And it's like the second time you try it, it doesn't work. So this just, just allows you to test it or one person can, can do the same thing several times with this. This is especially good for like free sign up forms uh, for like lead magnets and stuff. But I like to do this for products as well. Save because yeah, sometimes I test more than once. So I don't want any hiccups. So let's go back to workflows and then we want to go to sites. And I think we are good to test it out. And so what we want to do is we want to find a funnel again under funnels, obviously. You want to find it here. And in order for us to be able to test it, you want to go to settings and then scroll down. It needs to be in test mode, which it is now. But once you, after you, you're done with the testing, you want to turn this back on to live mode, right? So now we're going to do test just so we can put in the fake credit card information so that we don't have to spend actual money and lose money on fees. So we're going to test it out and now we're going to open a new page and we are going to make a purchase get started okay we can do this obviously you can do the main product and the, the order bump let's go down and here we put in the information which for a test purchase it's just this and then 424 242 so that should be good complete order but yeah, let's test it out and let's check email whether I did everything correctly. So no, not now. And here you can see we've set it up in a way, which is another video already done it. It's actually, no, the, the confirmation page is actually pretty much done. But yeah, here you can see it autofills. It puts in the all the information on what has been purchased, which is kind of good uh, just to kind of confirm, hey, this is what you bought. And in case you have any questions, here's your email and set the expectation that they have to be patient. Sometimes it just doesn't deliver it right away, but let's go check it out now. And it came in right away. So this is an automated one. Thank you for your recent purchase. This is an automated receipt email. And here looks safe, obviously. Here, if we click on it, Corgi cookbook. Well, here's just the cover, so it's not an actual book, but yeah, simple as that. I mean, there's some steps. It might might seem a little bit overwhelming, but yeah, make sure to set up the product, make sure to uh, connect it to the funnel, then set it up within the funnel uh, page, right? Connect it, like set it up in the checkout form. Obviously set up the automation. Always test your purchases. Same thing with emails. Always test emails, right? Before you broadcast them. Same thing with purchases. Uh, don't be lazy, test it out because it's better to, to catch those mistakes upfront as opposed to launching a campaign you know, 100 people see your sales page, maybe 10 of them wanted to buy it and none of them did. Maybe one person reaches out, it's like, hey, it doesn't work. So you miss out on money, right? It's, it's, it's a good thing that you're on top of it and you avoid these unnecessary mistakes. If we go back to the funnel, we go to settings. So the last thing we want to do is we want to turn on live mode and click save. And that is it. 
uh, in the next video, or maybe it's the previous video already. I'm not sure what the order is, but let's say in the next video, I'm going to show you how to do an order bump, but for a course. So there's, there's some slight differences, but if you have any questions before we go, click on the icon here, 24 seven chat support, let us know. We'll respond as quickly as possible. And yeah, just like anything Funneltopia related or order bumps or all that stuff. And yeah, that should be it. Uh, so yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.